Open up more prayers. We need more cover. Ah! Oh, this is what I do in danger. I bring out a camera. I'm a kiss. George? Okay, guys. We're looking for Picasso. You guys know Carolyn. She free flies her birds on her own channel. Hi, guys. <laughs> have a speaker on my head. This, she's Ace Ventura. I'm not kidding you. Like, the way she came prepped to my house. But that's not what I want to discuss. We thought we were walking along, like, a park. Ended up on a path, like, in a beautiful area. It looks like it'd be a beautiful path, but then as we get deeper and deeper, there's all these like homeless houses, but like fancy ones, like fancy, like, like they're there to stay. Like they created their own backyard and their own tent in a nice secret area, which at this point, if I was homeless, I'd go to. And we reached a dead end. And now we're in the Los Angeles basin. Like, we're gonna have to hop a fence to get out of here. This isn't the scary part, guys. We were in the woods. We're just looking for Picasso. We're just looking for Picasso. In those trees we came out of and had to go around the fence into this. This was the safest spot. There's animals everywhere. Guys, we weren't even sure if we'd have to go back. And then the dog. And then, that was a random dog. I thought that dog, that sounded like a Rottweiler. I thought it was gonna jump over and yeah. kill me. We there was a that. guy that lives in the bridge and yeah. we had to cross it. Okay. I would have filmed it, but the danger happened so fast. It was either go back past everybody else and like let them know that we <laughs> were invading their area again. I'm telling you, it's like a secret, secret pathway. Only this girl could bring me to somewhere like that, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, it was scary because we went right into the heart of the homeless area where there was nobody, just us as girls. And there were all those homeless guys with like no shirt on. With their back to us too, like as if like when we walk by, they're gonna attack us. It's creepy. The things I do for Picasso. Seriously, the things we do for our birds, right? Right? And it's early in the morning. I don't know. It must be 7. We started this at 5.30 in the morning. This girl came all the way to help me last night and today. She's got on her head the speaker to play a looping of a ringneck parakeet. She's got water bottle with a straw. This is why I call her Ace Ventura. Okay, she's like sucking it. She's like, let's go. Don't waste time. We've got to go and find Picasso. I have breakfast for you. I have an apple for Picasso and I have baby formula because he's gonna want to eat slow. I'm like, have you seen how big this town is? And then she's like, after two hours this morning, she's like, um, this area is huge. I'm like, this is why I'm so depressed. It is huge. So hopefully like a good soul will. What's that? Probably a rabbit. Hey, Centura. Also, it's a rabbit! It's a rabbit. I don't know how we're gonna get over that bridge. Yeah, now it's the next hurdle. How do we get over that bridge to get back into society? Yeah, send out more prayers. We need more cover. Ah! Oh my god. Okay? This is what I do in danger. I bring out a camera. I'm like, oh, it's dangerous. I think we're gonna get killed by this homeless man's Rottweiler. Let me just bring out the camera. I learned too much this morning. Look at how beautiful all those palm trees are. I know, that's how I was looking at. Look, look, Lambert. And when we started this search and we started yelling Picasso at 5.30, some guy was like, what are you looking for? Like a bird? And then her with this thing on her head and walking around, he goes, are you on drugs? And we have binoculars and stuff. <laughs> oh, and then this lady who just like opened her arm, we thought it was the bird lady. Yeah. She was staring at us. Actually, she goes, what's that lady doing? And then she goes, maybe she's crazy. I'm like, her crazy? Look at us. Look at us. The lady was really nice. She was like, I'm just exercising and opening myself up for the morning. I'm like, you do but you. But she stood there just like that. Like that. And she was just staring at us. I thought she was on drugs. Have you seen us? We actually look legitimately crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where we thought we were going to be. Yeah. 
something like that. She just told me it's 1.7 miles back to my house. Oh my god. Why don't I do this every morning? Dead end. We have to climb the fence. Oh my god. I should have took, taken the opportunity when you showed me the easier fence to climb. <laughs> yeah. But this one looks a little actually easier in a way. It's the good thing is we could put our foot here. You want to go first? Oh my god. I don't know. I could go first. I'll you. Oh god. You're just going to get my ass. That's all that's going to happen. Maybe, what about here? Oh, you got it. Yay, Marlene! <laughs> Last time, I was missing a bird. I was on top of the tree. I'm on top of the fence. This is actually probably an easier fence. True, because it has no spikes. But oh, hey, we are out in safety. Oh, I did it! Yay! Oh my god, okay, easy. Easy? You ready? Yeah. Right. Are you okay? Give me your hand. Okay. Wow. I don't know where we were, and I bet I could never find it again. No, oh, that's man. the one in a lifetime adventure. But hey, we're back in civilization. This was uh, like, I don't know, I could never even guide anyone back. You might be able to. Yeah. It's creepy though, I wouldn't go back. Yeah.